Hello everybody, welcome back to my one minute cloud computing video book. In this session, I'll be talking about cloud SLA criteria. We all know that cloud computing is a very veritable resource. Being an individual or an entrepreneur or a company or a government, you can use it for your own benefits. However, cloud computing operates from the remote servers. So people want some guarantees regarding these service availabilities. So these service availability conditions and terms are mentioned in what is called service level agreement. In this session, we will be talking about different factors which actually figure in that SLA. So first one is availability. Suppose you are using a cloud computing resource, the percentage of time the service is guaranteed to be available. For example, if you are using it for say one year, 365 days, how many days it is available? For example, 365 days out of 360 five days that is 100% guarantee or it could be 99% guarantee so this is comes under availability second is performance see suppose you are using a cloud resource or a cloud application the response time and throughput that means how much time does it take uh, to answer your request or how much time it takes to perform a particular operation for example either a print or a processing the third one is disaster recovery mean time to recover in case there is a disaster for example a server going down or there is an earthquake in a part where actually your data center service providers data center is located then how much time does it take whether it's three hours ten days and those things also figure out problem resolution process to identify problems support options and resolution expectations see suppose the service encounters a new problem what is the process in place to identify those problems and what are the options which are available to support a uh, customer during the identification process and resolution expectation if pro problem is identified how much time does it take to resolve that Finally, security and privacy of data. So security and privacy is one of the prime concern which actually is making many people not to use cloud computing or not to migrate there. So now the mechanism for security of data in storage and transmission. Suppose you are storing a data in a particular location. So what are the guarantees or what are the mechanisms that you have built in to protect the data from the unwanted or unrequired or unintended users? And also what happens to data such as um, uh, encryption and decryption during the transmission. That is also second. See other factors actually indicated in this picture. For example, redundancy capabilities, encryption practices, data ownership, what happens to the data when you stop using it, geographical locations for data storage and processing. Many uh, countries and many uh, kind of uh, businesses, they, in, uh, they don't want the data to be out of their location or out of their country. All this comes under these service level agreements of uh, cloud computing.